People gathered in Palm Springs in support of marriage equality and with high hopes the Supreme Court legalizes same-sex marriage for everyone. KMIR 6 News anchor Thalia Hayden was at the rally and joins us tonight in studio with the details. Thalia. Elizabeth, these rallies were going on all across the country and although this one wasn't quite as big as the one in Los Angeles, a good amount of people did show up. Take a look. As the U.S. Supreme Court hears arguments on Prop 8, hundreds in the Valley come together to support gay marriage. There were many speakers, including Congressman Raul Ruiz. Everybody deserves the right to love the person that they want to love. Uh, the fact that we, that we have a sitting member of Congress that's willing to step up, take some leadership in this and, and say what his opinion is, I think that, that also is going to, to take a, a long way in making sure that the residents of our Valley here realize how important this issue is. Organizers of today's rally had the crowd behind me separate into two groups, those that can legally marry and those that can't, all to show the reality of the situation. People of various sexual orientations cheered, held signs, and supported the speakers, agreeing that the idea of equality affects every single one of us in some form or another. Especially me being a black American, there was a time when we couldn't get married, and even in some states in the South, we still can't interracial marriage. So it's about equality, it's about everybody being together and coming together on days like this. Many in attendance say when it comes to those against gay marriage, it's a generational issue. Most people under 40, I mean the polls would say 80% of people under 40 don't see an issue with this at all. They've grown up with gay people. I just feel like it's, it's very generational. I feel like for somebody my age, I know that's going to happen in my lifetime, which is great. But I think it's always good to, to fight for the people that open the doors for all of us. And even though we won't have a decision from the Supreme Court for at least a few months. What's going to happen is we're going to have an, an enormously positive economic impact as a result of Prop 8 being overturned. Tomorrow, the court will hear the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage as between a man and a woman. It also bars gay couples from receiving federal benefits. Recent polls show that support for same-sex marriage has surged across America. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Thalia.